That's better. So, we're going to the Walmart. I know I ain't made a video in a long time because I've been feeling like death warmed over and they still got this pile of rocks sitting here. They put more. They have put so much money into this house here. I wonder if it's on Zillow. How much is it? How much it's worth? But we got to go get some some groceries. <coughs> and yes, I'm still sick, coughing. If I do a whole lot of talking, then I just start coughing, and it sucks. If I swallow too much, I cough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see what I have to put up with? <laughs> but it's finally a nice day. It's what, like 65? It's a 64, but yeah. Yeah. Not, not 53. And not, and not, you know, 40 yes. mile hour wind and rain. And yeah, we had one whole uh, day and it started like at probably about midnight this was probably three or four days ago you know 40 50 mile an hour wind with like 70 mile an hour wind gust and the whole next day it was just super windy all day long Yes. <laughs> but I decided to slow down. Because oh. by the time I would have got through it, it would have been red. I know like how to time most of the lights around here now. Well, you've only lived in Phoenix for what, 10 years now? It'll be coming up on uh, 9 in August. 9? 9! <laughs> And then uh, in a week, you know what's in a week? You probably don't. It's your birthday. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> he knows. I'm not doing shit because I have no monies, but. Yep. We have no monies. Can't get a job, save my life. Well, she has the job, but. For us to afford our apartment and car and everything, we need I two need, jobs. I need at least two or a job that'll pay me like $30 an hour. <laughs> Not likely. And then somebody's going to probably leave a comment that stumbled across this video like, well, why can't you work? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Eight heart attacks and two strokes. That took me out of the ball game. Well, actually, it was the second stroke that took me out. I, I was still working, doing everything, and then it was like, oh, here's the second stroke. Now you can't work. Because I was uh, running a company uh, that was closing down Sears and Kmart's and Toys R Us's. thought it was funny. Every time I'd walk in the door and tell them that I'm here to close your store down, they'd look at me like, well, what? why? And I'm like, well, let's see. There's my car in the parking lot and two other cars in the parking lot. It's there's, probably the manager and you. There's two other people in this store right now. Yeah. And it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. I wonder why I'm closing your store down. I haven't been to any store at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Even shitty-ass stores in shitty-ass neighborhoods that had only two people in it. That had no customers. Even that uh, Dollar General on 19th and Camelback. Yeah. <laughs> it has customers and that place is out. Woo. I feel like I'm going to get robbed up in there. Oh, yeah. Plus, it smells really bad. I haven't been in there in a couple years. I only went in those. That's only because I made a mistake. What the hell is that? An Audi e-tron? Yep. 
That's the Audi electric. I know what e-tron, I know what e means. Electric. It's electric. It's electric. <laughs> That's not the electric car that I want. Vanessa saw we my... We want... See the electric car that we uh, Ooh, want. I almost crashed off the road staring at it. It's the, uh, the Lucid Air GT. It is. Look, look that car up. Amazing. Lucid Air GT. It makes a Tesla look like a fucking Honda from 10 years and ago. And there is no dealership. You have to order it online. Yeah. There's just offices. Like, I drove over there. Remember, it has an address? Yeah. Which is the Fashion Square Mall. I drove through there. It's just like an which office. Which, a dealership is kind of stupid anyway. Yeah. It's electric. You know, because... Uh, and if you have that much money to buy one, I mean, to get one already, you might as well just make the payment for them to deliver it to your fucking house. Yeah, because... Uh, make that extra whatever money to pay yeah, it. Yeah, the reason my wife was talking about how much money... It's because it's like a hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Well, the cheap, the cheap one is all it's, right. It's eighty, I think. Nobody when they go out and buy a Lucid Air. It's gonna get the base model. It's gonna get the base model. You're gonna get the GT. You're gonna get the second one, which was a hundred and fifty. No, 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 no. The you, third one. You're gonna get the top one. Two hundred and fifty. Yeah, you're gonna get the top, the the biggest and baddest model because you never want to be sitting in a car. Now, I know a lot of people are going to go out to their car and look at their car and see blank buttons. We used to have blank, we had blank buttons before. Those little blank spots are features that your car doesn't have. This car, our Toyota CHR Limited, doesn't have any blank buttons. Our, uh, didn't our, um, don't hesitate, keep turning. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. Our, didn't our, uh, Regal have um, miss buttons? No. Our our, other Buick had miss buttons. Our other Buick. Yeah, the Sentry. Yeah, the one that had the missing front end. Oh. And what what I mean by missing front end, it was our first car as a couple. Paid $300 for it. It had rear-ended a truck. So the fenders in the hood was dented, and all the fiberglass on the front that goes around the headlights and the grill and everything. It was gone. That was all gone. But we paid three hundred dollars for it, and it was nice. Six, six months later, me and my daughter drove it clear to Palo Alto, California. Car mm-hmm. car got like over thirty miles to to the gallon. You drove the other one to Colorado, right? Yeah, the Regal to Colorado. Yeah, we drove the Regal to. That that Colorado. Regal had so many damn miles on it. Yeah, when, when <laughs> we owned it for three years, when we sold it. Because I drove like, I think I drove uh, 80 miles, uh, let's see, I drove anywhere from 80 to 100 miles a day just for work. You gotta get in this lane. I'm going to Dollar Tree first. Alright, well when we bought the Regal, I had 105,000 miles on it. And of course it was like a 2000 model, the odometer on those cars always quit. It was a 05 I think? No, it was a 2000. It no, big, it was an O. O one. Yeah. Well, anyway, I never worried about it. Because I kept saying it was. We were and seniors together. We kept it really nice for a long time, and then with me closing down these stores and stuff, I turned it into a work car. The paint was all scratched up because we were putting signs up on the top of the car. I spilled white out all over the seats. The driver's seat, because it was leather, was all worn out. I had duct tape on it. Well, I sold it for like. $1,500 to a friend of mine. Well, her boyfriend fixed the odometer in it. Because I told him exactly what to get, but you had to take out the center console and yeah, most of the dash to get the gauge the cluster out. I wasn't doing it. Well, when he got it all back working, that car had over 400,000 miles on it. Still had the original spark plugs in it that came from GM. The only thing I ever did to it, I had to put a CB shaft in it, and I had to, uh... You're going out the wrong side, dildo. Well, there's a personal bike there. So? And I had to put a, uh, 
fuel filter in it. Had that awesome 3.8 liter GM V6, the 3800. That was an awesome car. Which one? The uh, Regal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's no parking up front. I loved it. Should have just parked on the end like I usually do. Almost totaled it, though, going to uh, Colorado. It was middle of the night. I was running about a buck, buck 20 going up Interstate 25, just hauling ass. And my daughter was sleeping like this, you know, with the head against the uh, door. And uh, a great big elk jumped out in front of me, and I had just enough time to whip the wheel to get over into the other lane, and my daughter's head bounced off the window. Oh, she was pissed. That up would have effed you up. Okay, we'll continue the story after we get done at the uh, Dollar Tree. My, my candies. And we're back. Oh, we're recording again? Yep. Jesus Christ, I wasn't ready. Uh, she wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no. Yeah. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Look how tiny these are. <laughs> what is that? That's a fruit roll up? A tiny one. A baby roll up. Hi. Right. You, you can't even roll that up. You can't even get it open. Wow. Well, it's child proof. Yep. Oh. So give it to my granddaughter Rayleigh. And she'll have it open in like I point, know. point two seconds. I know. Like all kids. That's how my friend's kid was too. When he was three or four, he fixed her iPad. <laughs> well, he was like, yeah, like four or five or something. He wasn't even in school yet. He fixed her iPad, and I was like, he's the one that probably messed it up. That's how he knows how to fix it. I think he's like, I think he's like 10 now, but, but seriously though, they're good on the tech because they grew up with the tech. Yeah. Google didn't come out until, until I was like 14. Yeah, we are older than Google. <laughs> I know, we used to tell my friends' kids that, and they're like, no way. It's like, yes way. Yeah, because Google only came out in 98. I think it was September 20-something, 1998. All right, everybody. Back to check my uh, wife on that. And she's probably right. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm pretty close. I know it's September because I was like, oh, it's six months after I was born. Or six months after my 14th birthday. I mean... So I'm technically 14 years and six months older than Google. We're closing that car wash now. Nobody wants to use regular car washes here anymore. What's a regular car wash? Like you got to get out, put the quarters in. Oh, uh, like the one on 27th Avenue? Yeah. I love that one. Well, because that one's actually good and it's cheap. Is it still there? Yeah. You know, the blue ones kind of taste like windshield wiper fluid Ugh. all right how would you know what windshield wiper fluid tastes like well i meant to say like windex and i do know what windex tastes like because back in high school in middle school i used to read labels to see if it was toxic like and then i would eat stuff mm, that's not food like i used to eat the lotions with the little pebbles in it from bed and bad was it and then you wonder why you're all messed up. Bath and body works? No, I don't. I know why I messed up. <laughs> Have you met my mother? Yes. Yeah, that's why. We're the same. Except I'm... I'm just the tan version. You're the, uh, mostly melanated. <laughs> no, there's some guy on, uh... What? Mostly there, Hang on, let me explain. There's a guy on TikTok. 
He set up a website and everything. He's selling merch. Minimally melanated. What? What does that even mean? White. Oh. You're minimally melanated. Huh. And he got such backlash from, well, from black pe people? people that, yeah, non-white people. Oh. And white, you know, white people were all like, that's fucking hilarious. And it's actually really hard to say when you're on camera. Yeah, mel minimally melanated. melanated. <laughs> you have to like really think about it. And there's a guy that actually was like, I'm gonna make a song out of that. Well, yeah, because there's like this. Um, and he was like, minimally melanated. What's that? What's that like? I don't know. I don't want to say disease, but where you lose the pigment of your skin. I have no idea. Oh, there, I can't think of what's called. But I saw a commercial. Oh, there's a dude in the middle of the street. I saw a commercial, and there was like there was like this cream that you could get. Vitiligo, I think. Oh look, a Dodge Ram broke down. <laughs> Probably got transmission problems. And it like brings the pigment back to your skin. I think it's for I think it's called vitiligo. I think that's what uh, Michael Jackson had. That's why his skin was. That's why he wore the glow because um, his skin was blotchy. Another apartment complex. That one's gonna be a big one. Mm -hmm. We're building them all over the place here. Especially this area. We got all these shit. Yeah, because you could have. Apartment complexes on top of apartment complexes. That's my favorite building there. Yes, everybody, it is round. I was over here yesterday. I was at that place right there. The urgent care place. <coughs> so I had to get a pregnancy test. Okay. I'm just kidding, everybody. <laughs> Y'all see what I have to put up with. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I paid off of my uh, my credit card for my surgery. You know, only took me like it was only like 15 months. I guess that's my birthday present. <laughs> yep. Should I go this way? No. I just go up to night uh, to 15 or whatever night. Yeah. That's not what I meant. This to way sucks because of all the damn speed bumps. Oh yeah. No, I was saying or just go up to what was that Bethany? Hey, you want to try a blue one? No. Okay. What if it's, it's smoky, the bear on the back of their car? Only you can prevent forest fires. And now that's called Smoky Bear. Instead of Smoky the Bear. Oh, they took out the Y. I don't know. And it's like, no, was it's Smokey the Bear. Was someone offended? No, they're oh, doing okay. that whole thing of like, no, it was always called Smokey Bear. No, it like, wasn't. It was called Smokey the Bear. It's like Berenstein Bears or Berenstein Bears. Well, that's just a pronunciation. And it's like, oh, everything. I always goes. pronounce it Berenstein. No, Bernstein. 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 Bernstein, no. I guess I'd be my control up and drive. Yeah. <laughs> Chipotle. 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 I don't very sad looking Chipotle. That was where that uh, car wash was, I thought. Yeah. That they were remodeling for years. And they just built a different way. <laughs> and then they just tore it all down. That was funny. They were remodeling it forever. They had a sign up there for like four years remodeling. <laughs> and then it's like gone. And then all of a sudden there was a Chipotle. It's like, are you serious? Their car says, tell your dog I said hi. 
<laughs> Hi. Yeah. Hold on to your butts, everybody. Whoa, you came in that one way fast. I wasn't going that fast. Whoa. Stop edging out. I'm going straight. Stupid. See if you drive a pickup, you have to park down, down here to the sign. The sign says pickup. Shut up. <laughs> I still wish I had my truck. I don't. Funny. I like my truck. The freaking gas. The non-existent gas go gas mileage. I can't fucking see you. Oh, I know. I think it was like seventeen. Yeah, <laughs> it was a four-door Toyota Tacoma, not even a four-wheel drive one. Seventeen. <laughs> well, look, there we are already. We're already here with red rims. Yeah. So if anybody thinks that oh, Tacoma or Forerunner gets good gas mileage, no. They do not. I mean, you can get like 21, 22 on the highway if you're doing like 55 miles an hour and you're running downhill. Yeah. I remember when I went back home because it was like stop, 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 stop. I got like 12. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> there were so many damn stop signs. Just to drive from my friend's house or like the hotel to freaking Walmart. Even though it was only a couple miles. This car gets amazing gas mileage. Average 28. <clears throat> but like a trip on the freeway, I can get like 40. What are you doing? I don't know what the fuck that truck is doing. I thought he was backing out. Well, I don't know. Okay, we got the Walmart. That looks like a clusterfuck up there. It's because everybody's got to drive these big old fucking SUVs for no fucking reason. Well, you never know. I might have to haul 15 other people in there. To where? Yeah. Keep going, Sally. What are you waiting on? Waiting on that family to cross. No, I'm talking about the white ones. They were just sitting there. She's for no probably reason. waiting to pull into here. Oh my god. But she ain't got her fucking turn signal on. People, use your fucking turn signal. Even in a parking lot. Use your turn signal. Don't be sitting there being like, well, are you coming out? Yeah. We got our turn signal on. That car was just sitting there. Why? There was no signal on. And that even means you, BMW drivers, use your turn signal. And don't come at me and say, well, I know which way I'm going. Well, good, because nobody else does, and that's why you have a turn signal on your car. That was my rant for the day. Because that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Or people when they drive are on their phone. Now granted, I'm making a video right now, but my phone's not in my hands, my phone's not in my wife's hands. And you're not a driver. Here in the state of Arizona, it is illegal to use your phone while <laughs> while driving. We had a uh, state police officer get hit and killed. Oh my God, there was a video on TikTok, and this guy, like, it's like at the end of the video, this this guy like crashed his car into. They didn't show the crash, but it was like right after, and this guy crashed his car into like a state patrolman or a, a police officer or something and killed him. 
and he was a drunk driver and he got out of his car and tried to run away and yeah. this this bystander guy that was like across the street that I saw, saw the accident it. ran after him and tackled him to the ground he's like you motherfucker yeah don't <laughs> don't drink don't drink and drive basically don't drink period and he's like you killed him you can't get away with this if you have to I drink like, to uh holy crap if you have to drink to deal with life then uh, you have a sad fucking life. Because alcohol doesn't fix anything. Oh, I need to drink to have a good time. Then your life is sad. I can't watch the uh, football game without drinking. Well, then the football game must suck. Football game does suck. Yeah, a bunch of men in tights the running whole thing around sucks. hugging each other. Basketball sucks too. It's like, oh, the regulation height for a basketball hoop. And then the players are, you know, a foot and a half shorter than a basketball hoop. Like, oh, so and so cannot dunk. Okay, I'm like, yeah, I went to school with a guy named Steven that was 5'5 five five that could dunk. If you're seven foot five and can dunk, that's not impressive, bro. <laughs> You're five five and you could dunk. That's impressive. Well, usually if you're five five, you're too short to play basketball. <coughs> I thought they had a height thingy regulation, like five nine and up. What they need to have is a brain cell thing, where it's like if you can't pass, you know, a high school but math test, then you can't play. Because I remember they were talking about how uh, that one guy that was on the Cavaliers, I don't know if he still is, was two, was like the shortest guy on the team, the shortest guy in the league, and he was he was 5'9". Uh, yeah. I want to say it was Dwayne Wade. I don't know. I don't either, but that was a long time ago. But I just don't get it. I've never gotten it. It's like, oh, we're going to pay you mil- millions of dollars to play the same game. Okay, it's green. Let's go. Well, they had to be on their phone. Because, oh my God, I'm so important. I need to check my phone at every available second. No, you're not that important. No, you're not a social media influencer. And I'm going to laugh. Someone's someone's cooking. When the federal government shuts TikTok down. Because all these people that are like, what will I do? Without TikTok. I don't know. Go, like, get a, go get a fucking job. There's other platforms to make videos on. The exact same way you make a video on TikTok. Instagram has reels. YouTube has shorts. Well, the people that are, like, people that actually, like, make their content, they do it on all of them. Because I'll see them on, t- on Instagram, too. Yeah. Especially, like, the comedians and but, stuff like that. But there's people, like... It's a violation of my First Amendment right. How? All right. Well, then, uh, me getting banned off of YouTube was a violation of my First Amendment right. They're like, well, YouTube's... Is, well, no, still. If I can't talk on YouTube, say what I want to say, it's a violation of my First Amendment right. Just the same as if they shut TikTok down. And you guys are saying it's a violation of your First Amendment right. You guys are just mad that you only invested in one social media platform. You only built up one social media platform. The easiest one to build up. I have over 4,000 followers on there. I only have right under 500 on YouTube. I forgot why we're going to Dollar Tree. Robin. Right. Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. But, yeah. But yeah, all these people that are like, oh, I'll lose Raymond. Go to other platforms. If you're making video content on the internet, 
and you're not on multiple platforms. The big platforms. I'm not talking you're only on Rumble and True Social and stuff. If you're not on the big four, then you're not making social media content. Big four meaning YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the big four, the four that matter. Wait, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Facebook. I was only half listening to you. Everybody's like, well, I'm over here on True Social and I can say what I want to say. Mm. Or I'm on Gab or... And I'm like, yeah, of course Nobody you Nobody even knows what True Social is, though. It's Trump social I know media. what I know what it is. I said most people don't but know I'm what it like, is. But I'm like, yeah, you can say what you want to say because you're saying it, you're preaching to the choir. Yeah. You're not going to find the opposite over there. Yeah, I got to change how I say stuff a little bit to say what I want to say on the big four platforms. Why does it look so much farther away on the camera? I don't know. But so fucking be it. They still never did anything with the office, huh? What do you mean? The Democrat office up here. No, it's tore down. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's gone. <coughs> Yeah, what my wife was talking about is a disgruntled worker at uh, the Arizona Democrat <coughs> headquarters, which is right up the street here, broke in one night and torched the place. It wasn't that bad. A serious cleaning, a coat of paint, it would have been fine. Well, they didn't do anything for it for like a month, and then they just... It sat there for like two years, <laughs> vacant. I know it was and then uh, it was just horned down. Look at the big Lexus. Mm -hmm. I was looking at it. It's a nice way to spend a hundred thousand dollars. Ugly. I don't like Lexuses. Most of them are ugly. Lexuses. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the plural of Lexus? Lexi. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cause like yeah. It is nice, but you're just buying a Toyota. Uh -huh. You can go out and buy. It's not a, nice enough for how much it's how much you can spend. No, on you it. can go out and buy a Toyota Sequoia. That's the same platform for probably sixty-five grand, fully loaded. Yeah, they ended up just tearing the uh, Democrat headquarters down. And of course, as soon as it was on the news, it was like, oh, a Trump supporter did it. Well, come to find out, it this was a somebody that worked disgruntled there. employee that was fired that torched it. And of course, that story went poof. Yep. Just like the, uh, and I shared it on TikTok. Remember the uh, motorhome? that exploded in some city and like blew up a uh, building everybody was talking about it. I don't remember where it happened or whatever but airport that blew up? no a motor home oh a motor home and now the story went bye bye because it wasn't a Trump supporter that did it mm -hmm. or we'd still be talking about it Every time any story hits the news, and they're all passionate about, and then it's gone within two or three days, it's because it wasn't a Trump supporter that did it. It doesn't fit the narrative. Oh, this person came in and shot up everybody. And I guarantee the person in the ass, 
Were they a transporter? Did he use an AR-15? No, it was a black guy using a nine millimeter pistol. Oh, oh my God! Oh, stop! Stop talking about it. Nope, it's done. <laughs> that guy that just that was just in the news. I mean, just on trial for killing his wife and son. He killed his wife with an AR-15. Yeah, that's why it was all over the place. Yeah. I was like, that's a little extreme. I don't know. We're going to be in World War III before the middle of summer anyway. Yeah, the the Democrat headquarters was in this. Oh, this vacant lot right here, huh? Yep, right there. Yeah, the U.S. has got to poke their fucking big ugly nose into everything. And oh, did you guys hear? I made a video about it, you know, the, uh, like a week and a half ago, the uh, White House doctor came out and said that Biden's in perfect health, <laughs> and then come to find out that like a month ago, Biden had cancer removed off of his stomach. So how can you be in perfect health and have cancer removed? Ooh, somebody's over there toking it up. You can smell it. Mm-hmm. So many people are like, it stinks. Well, you, you know how many taxes the state's getting for people smoking the marijuana? You want your taxes raised to uh, come up with the money that they're making? No. There's a... And people are going to smoke anyway. There's a Chinese place over there called Walk and Roll. <laughs> By the Subway and the Panera. I, I made it to Panera. Oh, that one? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we had a, a protest over here in front of the uh, place. And, I don't really care for Panera. So and everybody just... was like, hey, we're going over here to eat. And I'm like, then somebody's got to buy me something to eat. And they're like, all right. It's just... I think Panera is just fancy, overpriced bread. It is. Let's go. It's Green Arrow. Somebody move. Move, stupid. <laughs> move, bitch. Get out the way. Jesus Christ. Put your phone down and learn how to drive. You got that uh, big ass Suburban. You need to move it. Oh, I think that one's supposed to be like coconut pineapple. Ugh. <laughs> That was nasty. <coughs> That's the only kind of nuts I don't like. Coconut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> you heard it, everyone. She said that. But I'm funny. Wait till the day I die. I'll probably live to be like 99 and then croak right before my 100th birthday. Like Betty White. <coughs> like Betty White. Uh huh. I'm gonna croak. And I'm gonna croak in, on March 8th. Uh -huh. You got the booze. Uh, 
grapefruit. You got uh, cable for the the television. Okay. You got the fee. You got to pay to have a jukebox in, in the bar. Really? Yes. Huh. Yes, it's expensive to to run the bar. Well, yeah, I guess they would, because that's why there was there was somewhere where I worked, or somewhere where I was, where they're like, they need a jukebox, and they're like, oh, well, that they have to basically rent it and then they only get a percentage of the money or something. I don't know if something weird. You have to pay something for mm -hmm. using the jukebox because it's copyrighted music. Yeah. Because you're making money off of them playing the songs. Yeah. And they're only paying what, a dollar? But yeah, me and my late wife ran Catalina Cocktails before it was Catalina Cocktails for four years. It was called Filthy Fills. And we had limousines pulling up on Friday, Saturday night dropping. That's crazy that you had limousines pulling up over there. Yeah. We had a line at the door on Friday night. We, we, we could have doubled the size of the bar. And it still had a line outside the door. And that's at a $10 cover charge. And this was probably 15 years ago. A $10 cover charge for men and women. Women ain't getting in for free. You guys wanted equality, so pay the $10 cover charge. And my God, women would bitch all the time. I can get into free down at the other place. Then I'd be like, well, then you happy ass to go down there. But the DJs you want to see aren't down there. Because nope. they're not paying what I'm paying. That's why the DJs are here. I mean, I'll have the DJs that I got. I got them because they couldn't play certain music at the place they were playing at. Like, music. like, how the hell are you going to have a hip-hop night where you can't play any Snoop Dogg, any Biggie, hell? any Tupac? They are hip-hop. Yeah. Snoop Dogg and Biggie and all that, they are hip-hop. Like, you can't play hip-hop without them. That sounds like a bunch of bullshit. Because dude. it's gangster rap. Oh. I'm going to be like, you can play fucking polka music at my bar. You bring me an audience. You can play whatever the fuck you want to play. You pack the bar. And I made <laughs> them do the groundwork for doing it because they got 10% of the uh, register. Who, the DJ? Mm-hmm. Oh. So the more... Yeah, the more money, the more money they get. Yep, exactly. Okay, we're done at the, at the Dollar Trees. Back has, it up, back it up. Has back everybody it up, seen it the uh, new uh, Amazon band? Well, that's one of the new Amazon ones the right there. The Rivian van. It's from the Rivian Electric Vehicle Company. Oh, like those trucks? Yep. Ooh. Fancy. And it's not all loud and when they drive it. That one still has the tape on the windshield. Huh. It must be brandy new. Please uh, subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up because that really helps the videos out. A lot of people don't click the uh, thumbs up and I have no idea why because I always leave the thumbs up. So, in case I stumble across a video, you know, six months from now, and I go to click on it, and I'm like, oh, it's already been thumbsed up. I've already watched it. 
That's not even a <laughs> word. Thumbs to up. Thumbs to up. <laughs> it's kind of like dollar dip <laughs> tomorrow 2 p.m. Arizona time over on the uh, Broken and Angry podcast channel. Me and Angry will be uh, doing the podcast again. Hopefully I'm asleep. With special guests Miss Broken and her Jingle Bells. (laughs) (laughs) Stay tuned. Yeah, this is the house that we drove past earlier. They got the did, fancy cars. Yeah, they got a his and hers matching SUVs. And Ooh. They did they so... They made that a brick wall that used to be open. They did so much work on they that house. They fixed it. It used to be open. Or it had like a gate on the other side. Because I remember you could see in... Like when we picked up all that stuff. The chair and everything from there. I'm going to wait for this runner guy to go. I ran the corner. I was just watching, waiting for him to go wherever he's going. Drive up next to him, but I am the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> or be all like, you can't do it. <laughs> Gate opener, Bob is jank, ghetto. But I do love living in a gated community. Even though sometimes the gate is wide open for days on end, so it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, so it doesn't really make a difference. Say we lived across the street, and we had to park on the street. Hell the no. car insurance would be more. Say we had to park right there on the other side of the street. Car insurance is more for parking on the street. Then there's the park in a gate. It also community. depends on what neighborhood you're in. If it's like a bad neighborhood where there's a lot of crime and stuff, it's also Well, higher. this is a good neighborhood. I know that's what I'm saying. It's not going to be so, that much higher. That's the end of the video, everybody. Unless somebody wants to magically show up and help us carry groceries in. So, mm-hmm. peace out. Bye.